Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Kyle, uh, the pastor here at Gallup Hill Baptist Church. Uh, it's a beautiful Tuesday morning. I hope you guys are having a great week. Hey, listen, I wanted to catch up with you guys about something this morning. Uh, if you've been paying attention to what's going on, right, you'll know that coming up on May 20th, uh, there's a chance that our state begins to reopen, right? That as long as some conditions continue to be met, that some restaurants are gonna open, you know, Barber shops and hair salons can open, you know, praise the Lord, right? We can all go get a haircut. Uh, and you know, some other retailers can, can begin to open. Uh, and as I look at this, right, I really think that we're about to enter into a time that's going to get very challenging, both socially and spiritually. So I want to take a moment this morning and really just encourage us as, as a church uh, and as a community of, of Ledger and, and Gales Ferry, to really think about how we are reacting to our fellow citizens and brothers and sisters in, in Christ around our communities, right? Because some of us, right, some of us are going to emerge from this or begin to emerge from this very differently than others. Right? We're going to have some people in our church that are going to come out of this on the incredibly cautious side. Right, like you guys are gonna follow every CDC recommendation down to the letter, right? You're gonna continue to work from home. You're gonna you know, avoid going out in public, right? You're gonna take everything and maybe even go a step farther than, than what's mandated or recommended. Uh, and then we're gonna have some people on the other side that are gonna come out of this very confidently that, that as soon as, as the gates are open, that they're going to do the minimum requirements and they're going to step back out into public and start going back to public places and start seeing friends again uh, and, and enjoying their social interactions. Uh, and, and then we're going to have people all over the spectrum in between, right? So this is a time I really think that, that as we start to go into is a time where there could be a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of frustration and a lot of anger as the cautious people look at the confident people and get angry and frustrated and, and, and think of them as reckless and the confident people look at the cautious people and are dismissive and God, you guys are just a bunch of weenies, fearful. And I think there's just going to be lots of opportunities for judgment, for friction, for misunderstanding and, and for polarization, right? I mean, our culture already, the, the centers of gravity are, are at either end of this thing, right? You get pulled to one opposite or the other, and it's very hard to take a middle ground because as soon as you step away from one of those poles, man, you're, you're just as likely to catch a bullet in the back as you are in the chest. So I want to take a moment this morning and, and share with you a couple of scriptures that I was just reading last night as, as I was thinking about this to kind of maybe guide your thought process over these next few months. Uh, and one of them comes from Matthew chapter 7, probably one of the more famous verses in the Bible now for all the wrong reasons. But Jesus says, judge not that you not be judged. For with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged, and with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Everybody knows this verse now. I'd, I'd even go so far as to say this might be the most famous verse in the Bible. Most people misunderstand it. Uh, God never calls us not to evaluate motivations and actions based on his standards. What he tells us is don't judge others based on your standards. Right? If you come out of this on this side or this side, there's going to be a very big temptation to look at the other people and get very judgy McJudgerson. And what Jesus warns us is not to do that. That we often judge other people based on what we decide is right. And Jesus warns us. He says, guys, you know, he goes on to say, you know, don't, don't be hypocritical about it either. But don't judge people based on your standards. He then goes on, and the Apostle Paul writes in the book of Ephesians, uh, chapter 4, he says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you, along with all malice. Be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, as God in Christ forgave you. 
be gracious, be tenderhearted, be forgiving, be understanding, right? Oftentimes we judge ourselves based on our motivations and we judge others based on their actions, right? And, and we ascribe to them motives that we think they have, but Paul warns us that that's dangerous, that we should be tenderhearted and kind, looking for the best in one another. So I wanna encourage us, right, that as we go into this, monitor your thoughts, monitor your spiritual state, it, do some self-evaluations as to how you're feeling about this, right? Be careful what you say, it's, and, and I say this especially to Gallup Hill, be, guys, be careful what you say, especially on social media, right? We have a tendency to say things on social media and say them in ways on social media that we would never say to a person in, 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 in social, right? Person to person interactions. Be careful before you post your condescending meme. Uh, evaluate, you know, would I say this to my friend face to face? And if the answer to that's no, Maybe you shouldn't post that. And most of all, guys, love your neighbors. Uh, like I said, I think this is gonna be a very challenging and difficult time for us. If you look behind us, I mean, we're already, you know, starting to try to figure out, you know, how do we do this? You can see that if you're familiar with our church, this is a different seating configuration. Like, how do we put people together but, but get them far enough apart, right? I mean, we're, we're working through, or we're probably gonna come back with a couple of different services. We're gonna try to do this, right, in the right way, but we are gonna have to work very hard, church and community, on being gracious and tenderhearted to one another. And I pray that this is a time that draws us together and it doesn't put us, push us apart. So listen, I, I hope you guys continue to have a great week. I hope our state continues down this, this road of, of moving towards uh, some of the relaxing of this so that we can begin to uh, to get back out to see one another and be around one another. I hope we do it safely. Uh, I love you guys. God bless you. Uh, and I look forward to seeing you soon.